G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this video, I just wanted to show you a uh, aeration system that we put in a, uh, a, a somewhat sort of small dam. The logic from the client was that they wanted to have the waterfall running and um, uh, help aerate the water, which is what most people um, commonly think is, is going to happen when you, you set up a waterfall like this. But um, the reality is it doesn't really aerate um, a water body of this size uh, sufficiently at all. And normally what happens is that you spend a lot of money on a big high volume uh, waterfall pump thinking that you're going to aerate your dam, but it doesn't aerate your dam. It'll aerate the area around the waterfall but um, nowhere near the size of a, a, even a small dam of this size. So what we've done is we've, um, we've gone another way and said, well, okay, let's not put on a, um, a big waterfall with the view of trying to, to, to aerate the dam. Let's just put on a, water, a, a, a pump on a waterfall that's gonna look good, um, be aesthetic, get away with using a low power consumption pond pump so that you're not paying a fortune in power and put in an aeration system to actually aerate the dam. So that's what we've done. Um, um, so what we're able to get away with now is having the, the, the um, smaller pump, uh, pond pump essentially, which is very low power consumption, just underneath the waterfall or close to the waterfall because it doesn't matter that it's only recirculating that small amount of water because we're actually aerating the dam using a, a, a HACO um, diffused aeration system. Um, we chose the HACO in this instance because it's very low power consumption, low noise, uh, and the water depth is less than two metres. If it was deeper than two metres, we would have had to go on to a different style of um, air pump but in this case it was um, it was fine for the HACO. Um, so this is what we call a remote system with the HACO. So the air pump sits up where the power supply is then we run a single hose down to a valve box dug into the ground into a shallow trench. You're not trenching power so it doesn't have to be deep um, and then we go out of that valve box into the um, self-weighted air hose which then runs along the, the dam. In this case we've had to run it through a, uh, a bridge um, underneath the bridge through pipe work um, but essentially then everything's controlled and you balance the air going to each diffuser from the water's edge where you can see it. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty straightforward sort of setup, um, but it's going to be very effective and um, ultimately the client gets a, a dam that's well aerated and um, looks good from the waterfall point of view. Um, probably a lower cost than what they would if they did go down that path of putting on a monster pump to, to try and circulate more water um, and definitely with a, a much low, lower power um, uh, usage um, ongoing. So yeah, hope that gives you um, an idea and an understanding of, of this type of setup and um, uh, yeah, it gives you some ideas on what you can do at home.